This is the uh, second training film for TurboCAD LTE and we're dealing with a few other bits and pieces on the interface, setting the thing up to, so that it suits you and looking at just a few of the uh, tools. So if we choose a line tool, it defaults to look like this. We've got length and angle, uh, attach the cursor and information. Define the start point of the line, so I'm going to left click and just draw a shape. When I've finished, I can right click and say finish. I can say one step back or I can say close. But I'm going to say finish. And on the polyline, I can do exactly the same thing with a similar shape. And this time again, I'm just going to say finish. And cancel to get rid of the tool. I've got two shapes that look quite similar, but this one's made up of single lines. So if I select each one, the information about the single line turns up on my cursor as well as the information up here which says what uh, layer it's on, what colour it is, it's a continuous line. On this one however, because I've drawn it as a polyline, it's, uh, <coughs> the lines are all joined together, <coughs> so um, I select the whole object at a time. On, but I could break that down by going to modify and explode and then when I select them each one will be separate and I could deal with them separately. Um, the polygon, the polygon tool uh, defaults to 6, so I've just changed it to 8, and I'll change it back to 6. Uh, then I click and it asks me how I want to define the polygon. <coughs> and if I uh, choose the top one, inscribed in the circle, when, I, when this comes out you can see I can change the angle, um, angle of, of how it's shown on the screen and the radius. I think really it should say diameter, but anyway it says radius and if I type in a radius here that radius will be the polygon across the corners of the polygon. If I hit the spacebar to pick up the tool again and again I draw it and this time choose the bottom a variation and this time if I type in a radius it will be across the flats of the polygon. Uh, the rectangle straightforward define the first point define the second simple as that. Now, you can see that all this information is on the end of a cursor all banging around. Personally, I don't like it. I think it gets in the way. It's too busy for me. So if you want to change that to make it slicker, if you go to View, Toolbars, left click, and go to Dynamic Input, here's how you can change the look of that. Show Dynamic Dimensions. I'm going to turn those off. Show input fields. Like place input fields near the cursor. That's the one we've got at the moment. We could just place them at the at the bottom, or there's place input fields to the corresponding dynamic dimensions of variation on. Um, we can change the transparency. So if you wanted those fields by your cursor but not quite so prominent, you could change it there. And input fields default width. So the size of the box is on the screen. So if you're a bit short-sighted, you might want to change that and show import field title and lastly show command prompting near the cursor so that's you know define the first point define the second point well, personally I think that's reasonably obvious after you've been using the program for a few minutes so I would turn all those off once you've got the hang of it close and then if you want to draw a rectangle you choose the rectangle click on left and then you click on right that information is still here it's, but it's down here it's your size A your size B and down here is the instructions on drawing the boxes. Don't really need that sort of instructions when you're drawing boxes, but sometimes when you're using some of the more complicated tools, it's th those instructions down the bottom left are quite handy because it reminds you of the, the sequence you have to go through. So, um, and so lastly, these last uh, objects, the polyline, if I click onto that polyline, um, it's uh, sorry, a double polyline so I have to define the separation distance between the two double lines so I right click I go to properties default to, to 5 obviously I've changed it to 10 at some point it defaults to center here as well I've changed it to left essentially this is for drawing plans to rooms buildings so I'm just going to uh, very quickly using control G snap to the grid there control G 
come across, I'm just going to draw a small room, control G, uh, control G, and then to join that up, I'm going to right click and go close. And there's my room. Uh, if I've got a partition wall, I might do a, uh, a control G there, snap to that bit there. Oops, I've dropped the tool, so I've got to hit the space bar again. Uh, control G there, I'll bring that down. Control G there, that keeps it vertical. Uh, right click, finish. And then to tidy up these where it's met here, I'd go to modify, meet two double lines, click on here, click on there. And don't forget we've dropped the tool, so I've got it in the space bar again, hit on there, hit on there. And then uh, irregular polygon, regular polygon, again, you've defined the, the separation already. Um, and down the bottom here is your angle, the radius, if you want to type in those or change the side, no, number of sides. And square. Okay, so we've gone through those things. One other um, small thing, really, is um, sometimes people um, accidentally lose things. Um, and not so much on TurboCAD LTE, but certainly in TurboCAD, um, that, down these boxes here, we have got restrictions on drawing uh, vertical or horizontal lines. So if you can see here, uh, this line I'm drawing is um, it's vertical. And you can see down the bottom here, there's an, a cross in the X field. So this line cannot go, cannot move in the X field because there's an X there. Now in TurboCAD, that is turned on by simply hitting X on the keyboard. And so what some people do occasionally is accidentally hit X or Y, and that will, and that will put a, a, ch a check in these boxes, and that will restrict their movements in either of those fields. In TurboCAD LT, it's a little bit harder for you to make that mistake, although Alt and uh, X are quite near to each other. So if you accidentally hit those two, you would uh, restrict your ability to draw in uh, those fields. You see it's over there on the right here. So if you do do a drawing and suddenly you're, you're only going <clears throat> you know, vertically or horizontally, the first thing to look for is down these boxes here to see whether you've inadvertently uh, hit some keyboards and you've uh, restricted your uh, a choice of uh, your ability to draw in different angles here. Okay, I think that's about enough for uh, today. Uh, as I said before, more fun next week.